Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 27th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, we learned about the halftone layer and the mask layer. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, um, I'll be explaining about the stencil layer. So, let's start. Understanding how the stencil layer works is very easy. The stencil layer is the opposite of the mask layer. If the mask layer covers or hides the layer underneath it, then the stencil layer will uncover and reveal the layer beneath it. The add layer stencil can be found inside the additional icon layer over here. And then this one is the add layer stencil. But before I click on this to create the stencil layer, let me draw a strip of color over here first. Like this. Alright. Now then, um, right now, you can clearly see this color on this canvas, right? Look what happens when I add the stencil layer. The color disappears. In the layer window, you will find that a new layer has been added above the layer before this. Okay, inside this layer box is the word stencil. This means that this layer is a stencil layer. The small image um, on the side here shows that the whole canvas is painted in black. It is the opposite of the mask layer whereby the small image on this side is white in color. Alright, now let's get back to the canvas. Just now, there was a strip of color here, right? But when I added the stencil layer, the color disappears from, the, from view. What actually happened is that the strip of color is covered. That's why right now we should uncover it or reveal it. Same like the mask layer, pick the black color to draw on the stencil layer. Why black color? Because the stencil layer is an 8-bit layer. So I'll have the foreground color change into black and then I'll random draw on the I'm I'll randomly draw on the canvas. Uh, so now parts of the yellow strip just now can be seen on the canvas. Uh, so there you have it, the stencil layer. Easy, right? Alright, I'll create a new layer and then I'll place this layer underneath the layer of the yellow um, stripe just now. And then uh, I'll pick another color and then I'll draw something down here. Okay. Um, you can still, uh, as you can see here, this layer and anything drawn on it isn't covered or hidden by the stencil layer. You see this? The blue color isn't um, hidden by this stencil layer. I can draw. As I please using the blue color okay you can still see the colors of the layer here and over here now when I draw on the stencil layer yeah then only then I'm sorry only then most of the color will be the color blue will be covered by the color yellow okay because the yellow is above the layer of the blue color one except that it is covered using the stencil all right so um, now you understand how the stencil layer works it's similar to the mask layer only that the mask layer is to cover or hide the layer underneath it while um, the stencil uncovers and reveals so, what are the examples of effects that we can do or use with the stencil layer? Alright, here I have prepared two examples. The first example is uh, this one. Say you want to write a message on this picture, a picture of a birthday cake. Now, instead of writing the message with plain color, like this, using a yellow color maybe, writing, um, okay, right here, like, Instead of using plain colors to write a message like happy birthday, you will see that the color is um, 
how do I say it? It looks very plain and it looks mediocre. So now, how about making the writing more attractive by using the stencil method? Now, in this layer, I've already drawn um, uh, how do I say this? Uh, quite an interesting and attractive pattern like for a child. Now, I will add a stencil layer for this fun wallpaper and then now oops, up here and then now, I will write uh, the same message happy birthday sorry using the black color happy birthday okay now look the message writing becomes more attractive because this time instead of just plain uh, one color writing like this yellow and uh, orange here this one has a pretty and more attractive background. This one is more suited to grab the attention of whoever is reading this. So as you can see here, as we pick it closer, see? The, the font is more than a color. You can see a little bit of uh, pink and white and purple. and So it is more attractive when you write it. It becomes the color. For, for the how do I say the writing okay now this background this background I drew this myself but you can find even more beautiful beautiful backgrounds or wallpaper patterns on the internet to be used this way all right let's take a look at the second example now this one uh, this is a drawing which I have completed and saved as an illustration but then, what if suddenly I feel like this character's dress is too plain and that I want to change it? But how can I change it when this is a completed illustration already? How can I change the color of the dress without erasing it or making any changes to the original completed art? The answer is, use the stencil layer. To do this, I first create a new layer. Uh, which will be the new pattern and color for the dress so I'll draw the the pattern first this um, and maybe put in some flowers okay which will it be this one perhaps okay or maybe something bigger mm, something like this no ah uh, okay a flower stamp like this this example okay so i want this to be the new pattern for the dress okay uh now i'll add the stencil layer on top of this layer and then like so now using the fill tool and setting the foreground to black i can simply change the dress color with a single click like this ah, and there you have it the dress is instantly changed without making any changes to the original completed uh, illustration it's that easy, simple, and quick. I can even change the color of the shawl. So, to uh, in accordance to this pattern, okay, I can make changes and then maybe uh, draw something more. For example, maybe a belt like this. Okay. Now, so. You've, you've seen how the stencil layer works and these are one of the few examples of how you can use the stencil layer effect. Like the mask layer, the stencil layer can be used to create many attractive effects and to make the process of drawing and editing pictures much more easier and convenient. How you use the stencil layer depends on your creativity. Alright, in the next tutorial video, I will um, show how to convert layers to stencil and mask as well as share tips of the extra ways to use these layers. 
Therefore, I will be combining the topic of mask layer, sensor layer, and the 8 BPP layer. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of Medibank Pen Pro. Please like this video and subscribe to Moonlight Nana channel or follow me on Facebook. Together, we help each other in our art journey. Have a blessed day ahead, everyone.